Greetings, my friends. I hope that you're doing well today. I hope you're staying away from the coronavirus and that the Lord is blessing you and keeping you healthy and safe and that you're staying in prayer and staying in the word and witnessing to all you possibly can. I'll give you a quick preview of this weekend's sermon, man. I've got a sermon for the ages. Praise the Lord. All glory to him. I believe that I have broken the Bible code on the entire history of God's judgment of planet Earth and the imminence of the rapture and how all these things tie in. Make sure you tune in this weekend. This is some major stuff, man. A lot of research went into this. The Lord led me to everything. All glory to him. But make sure you're around Saturday, around probably one o'clock or so Eastern Savings Time or EST to get this word out and make sure you tell your friends about it. This is going to be a mega sermon, my friends. One for the ages and one that no one can afford to miss if they plan on being raptured and not being left behind for the tribulation and great tribulation. So for today's message, today's video, the false prophet Pope Francis just made a huge move towards a one world religion. You got to hear this. Now, understand this. I have studied the Catholic Church uh, exhaustively. I know their doctrines. I know their policies. I know what they believe in. I know what they teach. I know what they don't teach. I mean, I have studied it just massively. And I'm telling you, this just totally, totally, totally blew me away. And it just, again, it's among the endless things that confirm to me that Pope Francis is indeed the false prophet of Revelation. I have no doubt in my mind about it. And this is what went down. Pope Francis went out and told all his, his Catholics around the world that there's no need to confess their sins directly to a priest right now. You know, we've got the coronavirus going on. Don't even try to find a priest. Just confess them to God. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Time out. <clears throat> the Catholics... They 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 teach their their the, the the heads of the church teach all the Catholics you don't ever confess your sins to God you don't do that and they pray to Mary he said go right to God in prayer okay this is why this is so huge this this is this is it's unprecedented in the history of the Catholic Church it's unheard of this this would never ever 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 come from the lips of any other Pope or any other leader in the Catholic Church. But the actual false prophet revelation, I'm convinced of this. Here's what's going down. See, here's how it is. If I'm right, and Pope Francis is indeed the false prophet revelation, this is his first major move in play, because this is what's going to go down. When the Antichrist takes over, Pope Francis will be at his side as his false prophet, and he will be directing the entire world, including the Catholic Church, to pray to God, the one he'll say is God, who is the Antichrist. He'll be the only God people are allowed to pray to. You see where I'm, where I'm getting at? He's opening the door for this, getting them exposed to it. Okay, I told you to pray to God during the coronavirus, but the actual God now is walking on earth as the Antichrist. So tell them that's who to pray for. And understand the Catholic Church is the, is the most influential and largest religion on the face of the planet, even more so than Islam. They're huge. And, they, and, and, and they're real tight with Islam. They have a close relationship because of, of Pope Francis. And they have a relationship with, with most religions now. And it's all lined up. The one world religion, the UN is trying to get a one world religion. They're trying to make it where one person is worshipped. Pope Francis is pushing this hard. And this is huge, my friends. They would never, ever, ever allow you. They forbid you to read the Bible. They want you to listen to them, to their priests, listen to their, to their cardinals and their bishops and everybody else preaching to you. The, the, you always go to confess your sins to a priest and do some Hail Marys and mess with your rosary beads, all that kind of stuff. That's what the Catholics believe. I don't believe any of that. I believe it's all, I believe the entire Catholic Church is, 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 is heretical. It's heresy. It's blasphemy. I'm totally against it. But nevertheless, that's irrelevant now. The relevant thing is that they are getting their Catholics around the world to pray to God. And, they, and they're not used to praying to God. They don't know who God is. They, they, all they do is follow the church's doctrines. Clueless, like like the like the the rats behind the Pied Piper, but they're going to get exposed now and be ready to pray to the one who calls himself God, the Antichrist, as soon as the imminent rapture happens. My friends, we are in the last of the last of the last of the last days. Look around you; all Scripture in the Bible points to the rapture. It's all being been fulfilled, my friends. We're just waiting for God to give the word for Christ to snatch His bride away any second of any day. Jesus Christ is our only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed another day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. I love you all so much that I don't want to see anyone languish that's been forever in hell in the lake of fire. What is to pray for the lost daily and look up true Christians? Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. Get the word out. I love you so much. Make sure you share. Have your friends share. And tune in for the sermon this weekend, man. It's a life changer. Bye.